Welcome back to the two. <coughs> you all right? Excuse me. My just, God. You're going to make it? I'm sorry. I just had a little something get caught in my throat. I apologize. Good gracious. <laughs> what could it be? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Something just went down the wrong tube. I'll tell you. Lord. A little spittle. A little, you know, something like It's terrible. Boy, yeah. all of a sudden. Whew, that was a little rough there for a minute. Can you take a sip? You okay? I think I'm okay now. I'm through it. Just I'm practicing for later. <laughs> 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 No, blow it out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> that was uncalled for. These types of things are uncalled right. for. You know that. You know how to hold it in. <laughs> Later today, I'm going to see Top Gun 2 with a dear friend, and there's jokes being made uh, at our expense about the things we might be doing beforehand. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a nice lunch. That's all we're up to. That's right. Lunch, a few drinks. Yeah, a couple of brewskis. Who knows? A few gummies in the parking lot. Brownies. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know where the day's going to go. You what know? do your wives think? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Two grown-ass men. <laughs> going to a matinee. <laughs> matinee it. Wanted to save money. Didn't matter. Still $12. There ain't no saving money these days, brother. Where are you going to save money these yeah. days? 11 or 12 for a matinee. Anything you want to do out of the house is expensive. You got that right, Jack. Hundred percent right. How? Uh, how? I was going to ask your son. He had one day. At le- yesterday was his last day of school, right? He had one exam. No, he has another one today. Actually, okay. I thought yesterday was the last, uh, but today is the the final exam, and he's out. Today's the last day for my daughter too, and then they'll be home. So weird when they're home. Too. Yeah. You get home, you're like, what's mm, yeah, that's the last mm-hmm. thing you want going on? <laughs> yeah. What are you two doing? And this here? will be it for him. He's moving on up to this senior is senior, senior. This is yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Jared. Now, exciting. How do you think his grades are going to be? Midland, yeah. I'd, okay. I'd say you know B's and C's, yeah. and uh, well, he, B's are good. B's are all right. That, that's good. B's and C's. Junior years where I really messed up. Where you came off the rails? Mm-hmm. Oh, big time! And then I, you know, he can't do it. Mm-hmm. But that's when I uh, lied about my report card and hid it from my parents and set it on fire in a movie theater parking lot. That's right. That, a junior year is the year that really matters mm-hmm. more than your senior year. Well, yeah, because you start applying for college. I mean, yeah, they, oh they, yeah, they know your last semester of your senior year is BS. You burned the report card in the movie theater parking lot. Yes, because I knew. <laughs> so we had a family vacation mm-hmm. like two weeks after we I got done with school, mm-hmm. and I knew if I told them I had failed like four classes, mm-hmm. it was going to ruin va- that vacation. Right. So. Report cards came out about it. It took about a week, ten days, mm-hmm. and every day I raced to that mailbox mm-hmm. to make sure I checked. Mm-hmm. And when I got the report card, I took it with me. We, I met some friends for a movie, mm-hmm. and uh, you know the place. It's uh, not there anymore. Oh, I know the place. And uh, that's where you burned that yep, report card. Yep, I looked looked at my buddy. I said, "Give me a lighter." <laughs> set it on fire in the parking lot. <laughs> But you Bold. know, so your parents. They- so we went on a great, great, still one of the best family vacations I remember. Right, yeah. Had a, we went to Disney. Oh, well, there you yeah, are. Yeah, had a yeah, wonderful, yeah. we stayed at the Wilderness Resort. Mm-hmm. It was oh, that's nice. great. Yeah. And uh, then we got back and they started, my parents started going, your report card should have been here. And I said, ah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Lost the mail. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Mom. And they went up, finally, my mom went up to the school and she was like, we never got a report card. And of course, they we mailed it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. So, so and then they got my grades and did. I was uh, grounded the rest of the summer. <sighs> they did see the yeah. grades. Yeah, at least you had a good vacation. Yeah. Yeah. You, but but I, I played it really well. I played it well. That you can't do that anymore now. No, it's no. right online, and everybody yeah. sees them. I could check his grades any time, mm-hmm. you know. And he told me yesterday, B season these, and then I said no D's. He goes, well, one D. I mean, come you know, on, it's like come on, come on. Yeah, it's that. He goes, and I said, what class? He goes, well, math. Obviously, when am I going to use math? <laughs> <laughs> that was Daddy's strong suit. <laughs> Daddy, yeah. like I, I can do some, I can do some math it. in my head exactly. So I mean, we're waiting and seeing. Yeah, but it's what math level was he at? If you don't mind me asking, is it algebra two? I believe he's in algebra two. Yeah, that's right. He's in algebra two. <laughs> Further than I ever got. Because <laughs> then what's remember the, I like, took geometry cal- three times. One or trig. <laughs> Trig next time around. And he said to me yesterday, he goes, I'm farther than Biggie. Well, <laughs> don't use that as your watermark. I said, that really should not be the measuring stick here. No, that's not a good stick. He said, uh, <laughs> there's letters and stuff. And it's like, what are you supposed to do? And, oh, the X and the Y. He's like, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it's really weird, you know. I'm like, yeah, that's when it really does. Yeah. That starts to make it difficult. Uh, you were talking about Disney a minute ago. Uh, did you? This woman put on TikTok, she works at Disney. And she said the creepiest thing about Disney, I just heard this, 
was that like on It's a Small World and some of the other rides that have animatronics, they stay on all the time. Yeah. Did you know that? I've seen that, yeah. She did this. She said this on TikTok. This is one of the creepiest things about Disney. If you've ever been on the riverboat or the railroad, you've probably seen the Native American animatronics. The animatronics actually stay on all night, even after the park has closed. And this isn't the only set of animatronics that never turns off. So do the small world animatronics. The music turns off and so do the lights, but... The dolls are moving 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So creepy. I bet it's easier just to keep them moving. Probably, yeah. Than it is, you know, why not? They just go. Yeah, I guess maybe turning them off and turning them on every day is... It's too much on them. Harder yeah. on them, I bet. So you go in there, and the music's off. The It's a Small World that she was playing there is off, but the eyes are still moving, and yeah. the things are still moving around. Oh, that is creepy. I bet. At night, when you're leaving, yeah. you know, when it's all clo- you're cleaning or whatever, it's like a haunted cavern or something. Mm-hmm. TikTok, they always put music and stuff under that, you know? It's like... Yeah, it's yeah I know. They ruin it. That's odd. bad. Well, let me tell you, Disney, like now that I see, because TikTok, Instagram, they're all... Mm-hmm. People put their TikToks on Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah. And... um. I see a lot from Disney, and it's people who are like, you know, here's the top five things to eat at Disney. Mm-hmm. Here's yeah, the five. Millions of views. Tons of that. Here's my here's my favorite cheap eats in Disney. Yeah. Millions of views. And it's just one person. It's just one person. Yeah. It's not like no. you're an expert on it or anything. No. I saw a thing. This was about places. Now, this is travel time. This is when people start to go on vacation. You were talking mm-hmm. about travel numbers. Still up. I mean, people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flying. These were places not to see. Like, don't waste your time. Uh, places, okay. And some of these, I have never been to any of these places. But, uh, excuse me, I have been to two of these All on right. the list. Read them. I want to see how many. Uh, Liberty Bell. Seen it. What'd Seen you, it. What would you think? I mean, it was a bell that had a crack. That's exactly there's what it a rope, says. There's yeah. a rope around it. In the description, yeah. it says, it's a bell with a crack. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good yeah. point. Is that in the uh, is Good that in point. Philadelphia Hall uh, in Freedom Hall? It's I, near there, I guess. I believe it's all together because I remember my aunt took my sister and I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, I remember we had to park underground because she scraped the side of her car. Mm-hmm. And but I think everything was all there together, so we just like flew through everything. They said there's no need to spend money or wait in line. Yeah, it's only a bell. Bell. I, I remember no no. looking at it and thinking it's a bell. Yeah. So there's it. You know, you hear about it, of course. Yeah. yeah. Go get a steak and cheese if you're in. Philly. You didn't uh, exactly. You didn't care for it either. You look at it. I mean, you can't touch it. Mm, right. No. You can't touch it, of course. Uh, Graceland, very small, bad neighborhood. No. No point in going. Y'all I've always been? wanted to go. I've heard that. I've done yeah. that. They said nope. This it's worthless. Uh, now the ones I've been to, I went to Paris. Once, many years ago. Thank God Chris Dem isn't here for hear you slam it. <laughs> I know. It. Yeah, this is the day to talk about it. It smelled. It's small. Oh, there's it's cats old. everywhere. It's French. Well, <laughs> there's bo all over the place. Specifically, the Eiffel Tower. Uh, awful traffic. Tons of gift shops that and and tons of pickpockets and that's true now the pickpockets were out at the Eiffel Tower they mm-hmm. and, and they everybody was warned keep your wallet in your front pocket because they'll take it right from you and there's a lot of there were like people on little motorcycles that zip around and take stuff you know pick your pocket I can't remember what country it's in I just heard this the other day that uh, when you go somewhere that it's bad for pickpockets and the idea is it's a group of really cute young girls that might be like 18, 20 years old and there's a group and they're laughing and they mm-hmm. come and they one of them bumps into you, and I'm like, oh, sorry. And they're all laughing and giggling, and one of them grabs you while you're sitting there. Usually right. men. And here you are sitting there looking at them. With, with about four or five girls kind of bumping into you. Well, well. <laughs> Just thinking about Not it. all at once, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my wallet. The time you turn around and <laughs> they're gone. situate yourself. Yeah. They're around the corner. Get control of your emotions. <laughs> they're gone. A little sweaty. So if you're going overseas <laughs> this year. Watch out for that. There's your tip. Still, gentlemen but you're thinking still got it yeah. <laughs> uh, you know uh, and your wallet's gone it's parisian girls they want you now i did i liked the eiffel tower i liked going up on top of it it was pretty good i mean it's something you know in mm-hmm. paris yeah it's so uh touristy but i thought it was all right yeah now some of them others uh these are things not to do places not worth visiting uh overseas the leaning tower of pisa and stonehenge both are boring in the middle of nowhere. I was going to say, I've heard Stonehenge takes forever to get to, and mm-hmm. then you're there, and you're like, it is it just, it's just, just rocks. Stonehenge. Yeah. So if you see it, of course, you've seen pictures of it. And it's, I mean, it's an amazing thing because you're like, how is it built? And what yeah. is it? Well, that. But it's it's way out in the middle of nowhere. And same for Leaning Tower of Pisa, which yeah. leans only because it was constructed in an area where. Exactly. And they keep it leaning. They, they can't. Yeah, they have to keep it leaning. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to keep up with. I, uh, can you go in it? 
I'm not sure. Maybe on the bottom floor. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I don't either. <laughs> but it's out by itself. Pisa is not a place to really visit. They say no. You know? But it. Uh, they keep it, it, it. If they didn't keep it at that very uh, angle, it would fall over. Oh, we should have toppled centuries ago. Yeah, we should have. Listen, and there's no need to go overseas. Just go to Epcot. That's all you need. <laughs> That's all you like, need. Now wait a That's minute. That's a very good point. <laughs> yeah, but you keep on running to an an American down there. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. I, that's I've, fine. I've seen all this stuff. <laughs> I've seen the Leaning Tower of Pisa right beside Mickey Mouse. That's what. He, he, <laughs> yeah, he was leaning on it. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, that's not. Cool. I'm on a smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> that's what was so great about it. Uh, in America, th- these are in this travel weekend. Famous places not worth visiting: the Alamo. Small, dirty, touristy. Don't bother with it. The Hollywood sign. I've seen that. That's just on a hill, you know. Yeah, I mean, I've no, seen that. No point yeah, taking a tour. Well, that's the thing to see it from you a distance. It from, you, you don't need to go up to right, it. Right, drive by. Isn't there just a bunch of radio and TV satellite yeah, towers up that's there. That's all it is. And you know that was part. We've talked about this once before. Hollywood. It used to say Hollywood Land, and it was part of like a, a real estate development. It was an advertisement for yeah. that real estate development, and then it came into disrepair. And some like rock stars. I think Alice Cooper was part. Uh, yeah, they asked uh, movie stars and, and and whoever had money in Hollywood to to donate, and you you, you bought a letter. Yeah, yeah, so it was that's like right. Wheel of that's Fortune. Right. Yeah. And I think uh, I forget which letter Alice Cooper bought. He bought think, one, and yeah. they refurbished. Yeah, I think it was the the, the A or the whatever. A or yeah, the, uh, and um, yeah, they, so it, it, it's it's not worth. I don't think it's worth going up no. there for. And they got rid of the word land, so it just became the Hollywood sign, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. They say it used to be really cool when it was a working chocolate factory, but now it's all fake. You know, it's no, there's no, they don't really make all the chocolate there. Yeah, and, aren't the street lights like Hershey Kisses or yeah, something? Yeah, exactly. I but, went when I was a kid. I bet you did. Did you love it? I loved it. Remember, I think I told you all I got a bright orange Reese's Cup hat. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, you just wore it proudly. They set you up for failure. They really did. <laughs> But I remember you could. You took a ride through <laughs> yes. the plant. It, it was like a little, you'd sit in this little tram car, mm-hmm. and you'd see it with the chocolate churning and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Augustus Gloop. Now, the <laughs> other one, this is in, in, domestic here in the United States. Places not to visit because they're not worth the hype. Uh, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Dirty sidewalk in a bad section of town. Yeah, at least it's free, know. right? Yeah. I mean, you just walk yeah, down yeah, the, do That's right. uh, the sidewalk yeah. there. Hollywood is just Especially, what is it, the the Chinese theater there? Mm-hmm. That's where we went right there. Mm-hmm. Did and you like that? It, no, because it just, it's just you get harassed the whole time. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, by people wanting to dress up, wanting to take a picture. Right. It is very, very touristy, mm-hmm. and dirty. Yeah. What do you think the best thing to do in L.A. is, in Hollywood, to see? To go to a, you think it's go to a, a studio show, a, a taping of yeah. Jeopardy or something? Yeah. Or, uh, like, when I was yeah. there, I went to The Tonight Show. Jay Leno was hosting. Yeah. And I went to a Dodgers game. Dodger Stadium was excellent. But there's not a whole lot of like the studio r- tours, yeah. I guess you could take. Well, fun, yeah. like, I'll tell you this. We did Universal Studios there, mm-hmm. and that was cool. To me, cooler than the one in Florida because it had real movie sets. Yes. That stuff you knew. Right. You know, you saw the Psycho House. Yeah. And that was really used there. So to me, that was fun. That's better. In a, if you're going to L.A. Yeah. That's right. Because there's not a whole lot of... Stuff like that, yes. But the I mean, other yeah, stuff I like the LA. Dodgers game. I think that sounds yeah. Dodgers fun. Stadium's fun. That was great. And then the last one, overseas, they say do not visit the pyramids. They treat tourists like garbage. It's hot. It's uh, it's sticky, and they treat you badly. This is the the Great Pyramids. Yeah, that'd still be one I'd want to see, though. I mean, that's one of the seven wonders of the world. Yeah. <laughs>